So when doing columns, the challenge is for your wraps to be equal spacing. So here, with the handrail in the middle, you can see that there's a lot more spacing above the handrail than below. But when you are going to do it the traditional method, a couple of things you want to keep in mind is your first one, you want to overlap your plug so you're kind of tying it at the top so that it'll stay at the top. All right, your, your power cord's taunt. If your cord's a little bit longer, you can keep wrapping around the top. You go around it and you overlap it one time. That'll kind of tie it at the top. Now that we have it wrapped, there is one, two, three, four, five, six above the handrail. I will go ahead and say that there should have probably been seven above the handrail. And so that's the challenge when doing a column is you almost always have to redo the first column two or three times to get your count, to get your spacing. And then you're relying on, you say, okay, now I got this right. I have seven wraps above the handrail and then the rest of it below so that it's equal. And But again, that's the challenge that you run into every time is that you have more wraps below the handrail and also you can't do it very quick. You gotta, um, you know, you gotta fight going through between the balusters and the column and everything else. So when I need to lock them together, I don't wanna go like this. I want to actually overlap them and then snap it together. That way I can really put some pressure on there and this is helping hold it together, all right? go around the column and then I snap this in place both of them all right and here's the key if you look at this hand I can squeeze the two right there to really get it tight pull on this and lock it in that way this right here will not ride up or down it'll stay locked into place and not use any nails or anything like that and you can hang garland on it uh, or you can pull up a little bit on your mini lights and it's not going to slide up or slide down the column all right, so your power cord, you come down, you use a little, little bit longer cord, you just kind of tuck it in so you can start wherever you want. All right, so it's still nice and tight. Plug in your lights, and you're gonna find a starting point. It doesn't really matter which starting point you use. And you can see here that my lights are not in a perfect ball, but since I looped around that way, I'm gonna go ahead and start at a diagonal. And I don't want to go straight up and down. I want to give it a slight swirl so it looks nice. So this is about a quarter to a half a turn. And I'm going to come down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hooks on here to create my spacing for the light. So I go from here to the next one. Now you have to be careful, like right here, that would be very close. And right there is more accurate. So when you go from when your straps are doubled up, that's where you need to pay attention so that you don't accidentally um, create too large of a gap or too small of a gap. But I'm simply going to go from down here onto one hook up here, and I'm going to follow that same design up and down. All right. So we'll come over here. All right. I'll hook onto the next one. And I'm just going up and down right here. Um, okay. Right here, there's going to be no lights going across the bottom, but I'm going to use that next hook. If I go onto this one right here, my next one's going to be only two inches away. So I'm actually going to use this first hook, and that way my, my next line will come down here. So that's where you just got to keep in mind that the hooks do line up when, you, when they're overlapped slightly. And I'm just going to follow this design around. When I come to a, uh, a plug, I'm going to meet up. The, I'm going to pair up the rectifiers. I'm going to tie a loose knot in here. And what that's going to do is it's going to help me keep more even spacing between my bulbs so that you don't see the large gap in there. Now we're getting back around to where it meets up with the very first design. I'll come down, I'll hook it here, and this is my last strand. See, I only have like two or three feet left, so I can't go all the way back up to the top. So I will just hook it around one, and I'll follow that same light strand just right back up. And so there will be a couple more lights, but during the daytime, you won't notice a, um, you know, a bunch of additional uh, uh, strands that kind of like merge together. And you just wrap it around. Now, here's the key. Once you get to the very bottom on a round column, you can take up some of the slack by twisting it a little bit. And now you can come in and adjust your spacing on uh, your column and have it have that, that twirl type look. 
but when you take a step back it's even spacing and then at nighttime, again, you only see the lights on the column. So if you look at this one as the no wrap strap and that one over there is a traditional spin method, um, you know, which one looks better to you? Or do they look the same, right? All right, so for trees, I would use the brown straps and either green or brown wire. And for columns, I would use these uh, white or clear straps and, and white wire.